Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I have a unique and one-of-a-kind announcement which deals with what was called the Advanced Imaging Conference. This is a conference that was created back in 2004 and it just wrapped up this year, so 20 years worth of time. And if you have ever participated at this conference, you know how saddened people are today to learn that, you know, it had to come to an end at some point. If you visit it, I mean, why was it such a big deal? If you had ever gone, you would get to see the very best astrophotographers in the world talk about their area of expertise with wonderful passion. It really was a very enjoyable experience. Now, if you never had that opportunity, you can, in some small way today, still take advantage of it. Because many of the recordings of these talks are now archived and saved in what is called the Advanced Imaging Conference Digital Library. That's what I'd like to point out in this video. It is entirely free. Everyone can just take advantage of it. And it shows you a lot of information. Not only is it the history of how processing has changed through time, about the astrophotographers themselves and their evolution through time, uh, but it also serves as a wonderful way to actually learn about astrophotography. Cameras, the way light works, equipment, uh, much of astrophotography does not change through time, that's just a matter of physics, and having an introduction to the subject by the very best is extremely valuable. So let me show you a little bit about what is in this archive, what is in the digital library, and I think you'll get a lot out of it. Let me begin by showing you where the AIC Digital Library is located. It's going to live on my site at adamblockstudios.com. When you visit the public-facing page, this is the page you see if you're not a member, and you do not need to be a member to see any of the information in the digital library, you'll find that there are some ways to navigate to it, some links. Uh, there are several of these on the site where you see the AAC Digital Library here. You'll see it in the left menu. It should also exist at the top menu, but I need to still work on editing that so everything will fit. So find your way to the AIC Digital Library and then you'll come to this page. And it's on this page where you can look at the talks or the information that was given in each year. The years that were prior to 2012, you know, the conference was smaller and they just weren't uh, collecting that information at the time, but later as it grew, uh, the information that were provided by the speakers was kept, um, in particular in the years of 2012 and 2013, just the PDFs or PowerPoint presentations were saved because video was not yet being used to record the talks. 2015 is when actual videos recording talks began. So you can see a talk by, and this would be a historic talk, for example, by Tony Hallis. You go here and you'll find that there is a video. Um, some people will not only have the, the video, but it, they'll also have a PowerPoint, especially if it's more technical, a PowerPoint presentation that comes along with it. Now, for example, I'll mention that in a previous video, if you are a regular viewer on my channel, on my site, you'll know that I just recently talked about the Orton Glow, making a glowy version of an image, which can sometimes add a little bit of a dramatic flair. I mentioned a particular astrophotographer, Carrie Ann Leckie Hepburn, who was a speaker, and I was speaking of this particular talk, actually, where she demonstrates a way to bring out stars or to make that kind of dreaminess in an image. Uh, so this would be an example of that talk. You can go to, I think it's a little over an hour into the talk where she describes it, you can play the video here and listen to her and see her make those manipulations. Uh, you can also see her PowerPoint presentation as well. Another great talk that might be relevant to many people today is one that was given by uh, Dr. Goldman, who is the manufacturer of the Astrodon filters. He gave a talk about narrowband filters and image processing. Now, it was in Photoshop at the time, but his introduction to narrowband filters and uh, how you utilize them and take advantage of them for you know, processing is a, is a great introduction. So it's timeless in the sense that that's something that obviously people are doing today, and you can hear from an, an expert on that particular topic uh, by visiting here, the AIC Digital Library. And let me just add, this particular year is, is quite interesting because of the, the variety of the talks, everything from ethics and astronomical imaging uh, right through, you know, specific kinds of imaging which might deal with the wide field and TWAN type imaging 
or even uh, some solar imaging you can also find within the digital library. Some of the talks are just specific to DSLR or one-shot color camera. Other talks might be specific to Photoshop compared to later in the more recent years to things like PixInsight. A lot of those talks would be given by myself and Warren. And regarding talks that I've given as a general talk in the last time AIC was given, I do think that this particular talk, Through the Looking Gas, which is about the Earth's atmosphere and weighting of astronomical images, happens to be a particularly good one. So if you'd like to check that one out, I highly recommend it. So I hope you take an opportunity to explore many of the videos and resources that are available within this collection. There really isn't a collection like it anywhere else. And uh, both being historic and ultimately very useful, I think you'll get a lot out of it. Let me take an opportunity to also thank the board, who are now former board members of the Advanced Imaging Conference. They honor me by allowing me to be the last resting place for this, the uh, AIC Digital Library, a legacy of the conference. And uh, they even uh, allowed me to be a board member for several of the years, which was a really nice thing to do. Uh, for those that take advantage of this, uh, please, you know, comment down below and let others know what gems, what useful information you found. You might find some really surprising things in here. This is not, I want to make clear, I normally talk about PixInsight, but this is a very general resource. It has everything for all kinds of imagers uh, found in the library. You'll find a really interesting talk in there. So I hope you enjoy it.